Wigan Watch. Wigan Watch. Hello, and welcome to another Wigan Watch, where today we're looking at something that I didn't even know existed until earlier on today. Um, that is not all this lot, obviously, I knew this existed. What I didn't know existed was that they've got a leaflet that you can take. So, let's have a look at the leaflet. So it is up close. Gallerist 25, Wigan's new Beating Heart, City Heart, BC, EGI, uh, and Wigan Council. There's a picture of looking towards Market uh, Street. You can see the, uh, the tower there for Queen's Tower and the various uh, buildings. And then at the bottom it says, Galleries 25. In December 2020, Wigan Council appointed Galleries 25 to redevelop the galleries. It's a good job Wigan 20, uh, Galleries 25 existed, isn't it? The £135 million redevelopment, which is now £190 million, uh, aims to provide a vibrant new retail, leisure and residential scheme in the heart of the town centre, transforming Wigan Town Centre into a vibrant, attractive and accessible place to live, work, visit and learn. Visit. I don't know how many people are going to visit, but anyway, the idea is good, I suppose. In terms of the new cities, well, since COVID, people don't want to live in cities anymore. So why would they want to live in towns that's a city? Um, if you work in an office, you only need to go now maybe two or three times a week or a month. Uh, so why would you live there? It makes no sense. Um, so I think mm, after COVID, that's wrong. The master plan. Uh, includes a six screen cinema because we've not got enough cinema. Music and esport venue because esports are so popular. Ten lane bowling alley because we've not got enough bowling alleys in Wigan. Indoor mini golf, food and drink venues, inning entertainment space, a new hotel because we need a new hotel, 464 residential units, and then it says underneath 460 car parking spaces uh, located within existing basements. Uh, what they don't mention is the fact that the re residential units will only have 2.3 apartments per parking space. A new market hall, a uh, landscape public realm for outdoor events, which I agree with as well. Uh, the diverse offer will benefit existing retailers by bringing more football to and custom to the town. By existing foot, uh, retailers, they mean the retailers that they're not helping in any way, shape or form or telling what's going on. Uh, retailers who are shutting down and moving out of town, for example... Uh, our friends down at um, Home Bargains, uh, which is shutting on the 24th of December and the staff have been reallocated to other ones around and about. The market, uh, as a traditional town, Market Town Wigan Council's vision for the town centre is puts the market at the art in the ambitious plans. I do actually agree with this bit. Uh, the new market will be developed and located at the market gate. The location was suggested by a number of traders during consultation meetings due to its central location from again to Wigan's main thoroughfare, Standish Gate, and its proximity to public transport uh, routes, helping to increase footfall. The market itself will be part of diverse new market hall offer, including the food hall, Cafe, co-working and workshop space, winter gardens, um, I don't know what happens in the summer, an opportunity to have an outdoor offer within the new Woodcock Square and in front of the new Market Hall. And then we can meet the developers. Galleries 25 is a joint venture a partnership between City Art and Beijing Construction Engineering Group International. A uh, development project of this scale is complex and challenging and requires a development partner with the experience and expertise and the resources necessary to deliver it. City Art and BCEGI are both UK based with proven track record of delivering complex regeneration schemes. City Art and BCEGI have made some very strong commitments to enduring, ensuring that the benefits are felt locally, including 40% of recruitment being sourced within the borough and 60% from the northwest. In addition, 52 million will be spent within the local supply chain. So there's another picture. So that's looking obviously down from uh, Hayes Travel uh, to the new Market Hall, uh, redeveloped. And then that's looking um, from uh, Standish Gate, looking up uh, to where the um, new entrance is gonna be there. Although to be fair, I think they're leaving that now uh, as it is, uh, which is the black and white, which it should be because that brick doesn't fit in at all. And then we go on the back. Uh, building a greener future, the new development has been designed to be far more sustain, uh, sustainable than the existing centre. The existing centre they're knocking down, uh, which is what opened by Princess Diana 
30 years ago in a week. Um, and yeah, I don't understand how knocking something down that's so young uh, and so big can be offset by 150, uh, 1,530 tonnes of carbon a year. But anyway, the, the next bit made me laugh. Protecting our heritage. This scheme does not include any listed buildings and English Heritage were consulted when drawing up the proposal and their suggested changes have been incorporated into the scheme. No listed building will be demolished as part of the development. In the wider town centre, a heritage action zone has been established which will bring unused historical buildings back to life. Uh, it's underway on King Street and will complement the gallery's project once complete. And there's another picture there looking up towards the cinema complex, um, which may well be... I don't think it's Hope Street that's looking up on. I think it's the, where the outside market is looking up that way. I think that's what that is. But yeah, protecting our heritage. Now, I did a video and posted a video yesterday, not knowing that this existed, uh, this leaflet, um, going on about the heritage that they've so far protected. And uh, it does make me wonder how many buildings, historical buildings or landmarks, including the famous pub, uh, were demolished to build the galleries in the first place. Now, I know that was 30-odd years ago, but that's not really the point, is it? So, uh, yeah, protecting our heritage. There's only one building left on this site that is Victorian, and they're going to flatten that. So the original footprint of the galleries being built, there's only two buildings that I'm aware of that survived. That one there, which is the old charity shop, and then you've got this one, which is the Market Tavern, which is more Victorian, and to be fair, it's quite a nice building as well. And the owners spent a lot of money uh, making apartments, etc., upstairs, only to be told that it's probably going to get flattened uh, in the next few weeks, months, years, who knows. So that is not protected by heritage. So that is going down. But they're saying that they're not destroying the heritage of Wigan. I mean, just because British heritage don't say something is heritage doesn't mean it's not heritage. Did it? I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this one. So till next time, bye. That's an ominous sign. Surveyors surveying. <laughs>